Hey guys, your lifestyle vlogger is back with a business video. Not so common, right? Yeah, so uh, before I start the video, I want to put out a disclaimer out there. I'm not in no way a business mogul. I'm just a small business owner. And the points we're gonna, I'm going to talk about are points I found while doing my research as I was starting Gato branda so i didn't want to like just be the only person who they help i want to help someone out there as well so at the same time i'm not gonna go into details because again i said i'm not a professional right so, so one mistake that most people do when starting their businesses is wanting to start huge Honey, don't try to start huge. Start with what you have. Start where you are. Don't try to do a huge launch. Don't try to make expensive PR packages. Don't, don't try to pay people to promote for you. Spend as less as you can. The second mistake that people do is comparing their brands to other brands in the market. Honey, don't compare your brand to other brands. Your brand is unique. Every brand in this world is unique in its own way, including Gato is unique in its own way. The third mistake is failing to identify your target market. Before you start any business out there, make sure you know who you're gonna sell your products to. Who are your biggest, who is your biggest audience? Who are you planning to sell to? Don't just such a business and you have no clue who you're going to sell to. Number four, failing to have a competitive advantage that makes you stand out from other businesses or other brands. It can, it can be anything, I can't tell you what, but Gato has a competitive advantage that makes it stand out from other brands, make yours. It can be anything, it, can be, it could be you being able to produce your goods at the lowest cost meaning you're gonna be able to make a high profit margin five failing to be consistent when you start your business no matter how slow it's growing make sure you're consistent number six putting your product markup so low make sure you put your product markup 50 percent and above I heard somewhere if your markup is below 40%, honey, you're giving your products out for free. If you have no clue what a markup is, do the research. The other mistake is stocking products that you like instead of stocking products that customers like. Huge mistake. If you have been a victim of this, please comment down below. Number eight. Ooh. giving goods on credit I know it happens when you're starting out you want people to buy your products or you want to feel like something is working with your products and then you end up giving your goods on credit I think it's a good thing don't give your goods on credit and most times people who get your goods on credit when they have money they never buy from you I don't know why, I don't know what happened. Number nine, launching one product and waiting for the product to go out of stock or rather get sold out before you launch another product. Basically, from my research, at least even when you're even if you're starting out, try and launch at least two to three products and let them work at a go. If you launch only one product, your growth is gonna be slower because it could be the product that you launched not your first moving product among your upcoming products maybe in the next two the third product that you launch together is gonna be the first moving and that that means that the growth of your business is gonna be faster thinking that you need a shitload of money to start your business and so you take so long before you start your business again from again we go to point one wanting to start huge don't um don't think you need a shitload of cash you don't need, think you need a shitload of capital for you to start start small start with 
10 products start with two products depending on your ability the 11th point is um trying to please clients this comes in a way that you you are willing as a new business or a new entrepreneur you're willing to preach your policies like no giving good on credit or a policy that uh maybe your policy has that the client is uh takes care of their delivery fee you see yeah if your delivery fee is a hundred bob within nairobi because now it's like maybe your second client you incur the cost no don't breach your policies or the policies of your business trying to please a client the 12th point is mixing business money with personal money don't do that don't do that have your own way i don't know people are different here i try and separate business money and personal money i from my research sis bro you end up starting all over again the business goes broke because you're taking the money from the business and using it on your own on your on your personal needs the business ends up going broke that it point is um under pricing your products to gain competitive advantage i know this could be a tricky one a really really tricky one because you don't want your products to seem expensive so people don't buy so we go back again to markup your markup has to be at least 40 percent and above don't underprice your product to gain competitive advantage don't don't make sure you are getting your profit that's why you're in business without the profit there's no business business equals to profit waiting too long to start again you may you may wait too long to start because of different or many reasons one we talked about because you feel that your capital is too low for the business so you're waiting for a huge capital another thing another thing that makes people to to stay long before starting is procrastinating don't if you have to don't take too long because time is moving there's so many reasons why people take too long to start honey start just start another mistake is worrying if your product will come out presentable to the client and so you end up using so much of your money like into branding websites um branding packaging bags yeah that's another mistake don't worry just i as we said before every brand here in the world is unique in its own way don't spend so much money trying to make the product presentable <laughs> don't again it goes down to make as much profit as you can another problem is thinking that your business will pick up immediately honey no businesses don't pick up immediately You're gonna have to give your business a room for growth maybe six months to one year it won't pick up immediately so if you just started your business and it's so slow it happens to everyone all the big brands you see they didn't just start Ta -da! i have six figure profit no it's a process <laughs> most importantly it takes a lot of effort a lot of consistency a lot of time so many years 20th point is giving your product to your clients without full payment there's a difference between giving your products on credit and giving your products without full payment. Some clients can really be tricky and and funny and smart, you know. They could give you like um they could give you a down payment of a small amount in their head. They really wanna get this product and not pay, or they just it just happens that they didn't have have the ability to pay, but make sure it's business you're there to make money right let clients pay for the products and then 
let them de be delivered to the client not half pay you really don't have time to keep asking for payment later after delivering your product to the client from experience all of us have experienced this the moment you have a product it's a bit hard to pay really some some people don't really like not people because they want to it's just natural it's a bit hard make sure you have been paid fully the point is working with unqualified and inexperienced people work with people who know what they're doing people who are qualified in your, the business you're venturing people who have the experience people who can can bring something to the table not people who you're the only person there who can make a meaningful decision another point is thinking that now the last point actually is that thinking that you can do everything on your own honey no as much as the business is yours you need people to help you you can't do everything on your own have that room for people to help you you really can't do it you're gonna crash i know it's hard I know you have that vision, great vision for your brand. You have that dream of your business becoming the biggest empire in, in town. Everything on your own. You need people to help you. You need to learn how to delegate some, some things. Let them be done. You're going to be surprised. Some, sometimes you may think that um, you know the thing better or you can do the thing better than everyone else because it's your business of course it makes sense it's your business so you know what's the best for your business but then someone else does it and they're like wow they did it better than i did learn to delegate some some jobs to people to help you so guys i hope those points helped someone somewhere maybe you might come across this video while you're doing your research because you want to start something I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best, all the best. And again, as I said, I am not a professional. I just felt like helping someone somewhere because I was helped. I'll see you on my normal lifestyle vlogs. Bye.